let's talk about the divine sigma male father frame okay this is really really important after a conversation with ryan g last night started to reach some epiphanies these are some of them yeah. i'm inspired yeah. i'm inspired yeah. hey there guys how's it going my name is sumit chatterjee from the flow zone academy and i'm a flow state coach which means that i help you feel better and perform better you know man i've been growing up and i've always just felt kind of like an outcast kind of like a loner like a lone wolf and i honestly just think it was my sigma male nature that allowed me to see things in novel ways that allowed me to not really go with what the pack is doing but kind of do my own thing and over the years i've started to really understand this unique gift okay now, I'm not saying you're a Sigma just because you were made to feel special growing up. That's not it at all. And it's not just because you isolate yourself that you're a Sigma. Don't even think for a second, okay? You see, the Sigma rejects these conventional norms. The Sigma male values solitude, not isolation. They're going into their internal world so that they can grow. They are growth-oriented, right? They're growth-minded. They're trying to improve. So if you think you're a dad who is a sigma male you can either be the cool dad or the lone wolf dad who has a few toxic traits <clears throat> and you're not really around your kids because you're trying to crush it in your business and you know you can't really be there for your family i get that but listen man your kids would probably respect you because you let them be their own person you're not going to force your will or impose your way on you know that they are going to grow into their full potential and that's the kind of frame that I want you to look at, at the world with, if you are this Sigma archetype. I see the best in you. That wasn't you, that was your mind. That wasn't you. That was just how you reacted. That wasn't really you. Don't even worry about it for a second. You see this ability to reframe and get people to see themselves as their best self. This is something that the Sigma male does very well. And honestly, they, they can find the uniqueness that anybody has and almost be a catalyst for that uniqueness. I look like an anime villain right now with his hair. Kind of, right? Anyway, man, there's a love-lust ratio. This is, you know, referencing Ryan G. There's a sense of sexuality which is the lust, and a sensuality, which is the love. In your own world, you walk this gray area, okay? You walk this gray area. You're in love with the world, but you're also in lust with the world, okay? These are how you're seeing through your eyes like this, okay? One is more sensation-based, softer. One is more dominant based harder and together you start to create an integrated man right an integrated man someone who's not trying to be a fake leader right but actually has leadership qualities that they demonstrate so if sometimes you feel a little bit more reserved or shy or understand that you're playing a long-term game come back to this understanding okay because your patience also gives you that ability to slow time down. And when you can slow time down, you can also change your sensations. You change your sensations, you can also hop into the imagination world, the subconscious mind. You have this ability to go there if you decide to, and you give other people freedom and you see the best in others. Of course, you're if you do have kids, it can go very well. You can be the cool dad, but it's your choice because your traits, they can either become shadow traits or kingly traits. I want you to amplify the young kingly traits. The internal dark traits are there. Let's acknowledge them for what they are. Let's sit with them and drink tea with them as Muji, or as AZD brought up, would say. 
let's drink tea with our emotions. And I don't want you to get into this toxic culture of the Sigma, which is kind of like, the, the grind never stopped, brother. The grind is 24-7. Yeah, but is it though? Don't you need a little bit of rest in between that? Well, yeah, you know, I, I take a little nap now and then. Okay, good. So it's not 24 seven, but the power that you have, the man watching this video, the power that you have, if you're curious about this, what is a Sigma male, huh? An introverted alpha male, well, what is this? This is beyond something, because this is the divine Sigma. The divine Sigma is tapped into the spiritual world. Oh, this is a different energy, man. Because a woman can try to test you and test you and test you, but you are eternal. You are everywhere. You are Shiva. You are that container of space where you can just reside and hold her. Hold her from that space. And you become like the bottom of the ocean floor. That is the energy. Where she's the ocean, she has these tsunamis and waves and whirlpools and there's so much teeming life. Your groundedness is the bottom of the ocean floor. Close to the earth. Close to home. that they just melt in your presence. They melt in your presence because they recognize that nature within themselves. They are also Mother Gaia. Remember, the feminine is Mother Gaia. You accessing your groundedness gets you to stand firm. 12 inches below your feet is the Earth Star Chakra. As a man, as a divine Sigma male, who's looking at the world through this frame, I want you to listen to some Earth Star Chakra tones. It's going to awaken that part in you, keep you grounded, keep you here, keep you in the now. Because I know you're future oriented, man. You're constantly like, oh, I wanna make this thing and I wanna make this other thing and oh, it's gonna be so cool. But come back to the now, what's happening right now? You're watching this video, what's happening right now? That's right. That presence. Mm, let it emanate out. And when you communicate, people can feel your electromagnetism because you're your own center of gravity, right? It's like you're the sun and then there's an orbit around you. That's how it feels like sometimes to be a Sigma, right? It does feel like that at times, but you are still by yourself, far away from this orbit that's spinning. And that's why I can feel kind of like, hey man, I'm, it's lonely at the top. I had a download yesterday. It was a song by Rex Raj Life, I think his name is, the rapper. And he said, man, in his song, at the top is where I belong. In his song, I belong. Now, I belong is also one of my affirmations, which is originally from my bioenergetic profile, my characterology, right? That's my deepest core wound. So when I heard this, it awakened something in me. At the top is where I belong. Okay? Don't settle. Don't pull yourself down. It's like others have to catch up. Okay? Don't keep like compromising, sacrificing yourself constantly, people pleasing. Because that was my Sigma nature in the past and it didn't help me at all. It didn't. Once I started to raise my own standard, I started to have quality level problems in my life. Quality level problem is like, you know, you have five girls wanting them to text you back. Quality level problem is like, oh man, I have too many songs on my playlist. Like my computer's crashing, I have so much music on it, right? Quality level problem is you, you have no strategy to manage all the passive income that's coming in. A very low level problem is like something really petty. 
like, oh, but this person keeps doing this this way. Dude, who cares? Don't fucking do whatever they want, dude. You focus on you. You create you every single day. That's what you keep doing. You just keep creating you. You keep creating the character. You keep putting coins into the Liddy Bank, right? That's like a piggy bank, but I ain't no piggy. We'll discuss this frame a lot more in our master class, matches into dates. It's also a program, matches into dates in combination with Soul Eater, the Shadow Work Mastery Program. If you are texting girls and you're trying to go on dates and it's not working, your inner game is messed up. And if you think your inner game is solid and you're not getting results, I think you're BSing me. Your inner game is not solid. If your inner game was solid, you would be getting results, as within, so without. It's the law of hermeticism, law of alchemy, man. It doesn't make sense. Either you're charging up like a super saiyan and something great is about to happen, or you're lying to me. Something is off in your inner world. So let's get on a call. Let's fix this. Have an incredible day. May the flow be with you and stay legendary. Let's get it today. Yeah, yeah, let's crush it.